Vector and raster are terms commonly used in the graphic design industry as they refer to how something is designed and the file format delivered. Vectors are the industry standard in logo design for their ability to scale without any loss of quality while a raster is commonly used on the web. Today's topic, comparing and defining vector versus raster. Vector graphics are computer graphics represented by mathematical points, not pixels. Vector graphics are generated by illustration software such as Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw and can be scaled, rotated, moved, or otherwise manipulated to any degree without any loss of quality. Vector graphics are most commonly used for logos, illustrations, and other print graphics that may later be scaled. Common vector file formats include .eps, or encapsulated postscript, .ai, Adobe Illustrator, and .cdr, Corel Draw. A raster image, sometimes called a bitmap, is where images are created in a dot matrix structure representing a generally rectangular grid of pixels, or points of color. Raster images are most commonly used for web-based graphics represented on a digital screen or printed at 300 dpi at 100% scale. Common raster file formats include .jpeg, .ping, and .gif, often produced from software such as Adobe Photoshop. Let's look at the difference between a vector graphic, the blue circle, and a raster image, the red circle. At this size, the two circles look pretty similar. However, if you were to enlarge the circles 800%, they would appear quite differently. The vector scales very well. It still has crisp, clean lines, while the raster scales poorly and is jagged. You can really see the pixels that make up the circle's edges. This is why vectors are commonly used for logos and other scalable graphics such as illustrations, while a raster is used most commonly in website graphics that remain at a constant size and in photography, which is often shot at a very high resolution. If you have a question or topic you'd like to know more about, please leave a comment below and it may be featured in next week's video. You can find us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Skyberry Studio. You can also find us on our website at skyberrystudio.com. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you again next week for another Quick Tip Tuesdays.